Coming next is our next speaker, James Lomax. He is currently Food Systems and Agriculture, Agriculture Advisor in UNEP's Ecosystem Division. James has been leading efforts on the topic of UNEP since 2009. He has pioneered the idea of systems thinking in the food and agriculture sector, where nutrition, waste, environmental externalities, and livelihoods must be considered if a shift to more sustainable food systems is to be realized. Currently, James is partly seconded to the Food Systems Summit and is also focusing on sustainable land use finance mechanisms, repurposing farmer fiscal support, regenerative and net positive agriculture, and coordinating UNEP's internal work on food systems and agriculture. Welcome, uh, James. Thank you so much, Jeff. Um, and um, I'd first of all like to just say thank you for inviting me um, and UNEP to contribute to this Chinese launch. Um, what we did yesterday, I think, was very interesting. Um, I think um, the, um, the report squarely puts and connects agriculture, food, and the environment with food systems, if you like, the connecting area. But for my intervention, I'd just like to really focus on three key messages. Um, and that the first one is to reiterate, um, of course, what Jane has said, um, that our global food system is the primary driver of biodiversity, biodiversity loss. And that a transformation in our food system can tackle both our global crisis with human health and environmental health. Um, and I think we need to couch this in the perspective of COVID-19. Um, I think it's very clear here that the emergence, um, the increased risk of the emergence of zoonotic diseases such as COVID-19 is closely linked to biodiversity loss. And while we don't definitively know exactly where COVID-19 has come from, it is likely arising from the overlap of one, an increasingly intensive and industrialized food system, the constant degradation of natural habitats, and thirdly, the illegal trade and consumption of wildlife. Um, but it's also not just that, it's also the fact that food systems, by the very nature of the fact that we are um, moving towards a diet which is far heavier in, in animal products, which is then leading to often non-communicable diseases, we are also seeing that our resilience to things like pandemics, zoonotic diseases, is reducing too. So it's a double-edged sword, if you like. So it's not only food systems have contributed to the crossover of zoonotic diseases from wildlife to humans, but also food systems are contributing to our vulnerability when it comes to our resilience to dealing with future pandemics in, in, um, that, that may come across. Um, but this report is a very important, it, it, I, I suppose it, it, it um, presents and represents a very important milestone. And I think the reason being is that it, ex it explicitly frames the direct link between our global food system and biodiversity loss. Um, and really, if you like, highlights the fact that you cannot just fix the food system by looking at just farming. We have to look at production, we have to look at consumption as, as well, because consumption is the driver often of the way we produce food. And it's also the driver that, that forces farms to go from 
farms that maybe had mixed types of production that included livestock, that included crops, that spoke about um, 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 nutrient cycling. And one of the first things that I did when I was a was a younger professional, I won't say young, younger pro professional, was working with smallholder farmers in um, central province of Kenya to understand the benefit of having a little bit of livestock on a mixed farm so that soil fertility can be improved um, and, and, and fodder can be produced all on the same plot, often of, of about half a hectare each. Um, so, so I think we have to take a bit of a look. We have to take a look about where our food systems are now. And we have to look at what needs to change. And what needs to change is a rethink, a rethink in the way that we produce and consume food. And what's important about this narrative is that this narrative is around um, what we, what we, what it, it involves all of us. That's the key thing. It involves those of us that work in the area. It involves private sector, it, but crucially, it involves everybody who eats twice, three times every single day. We have a choice to make three times per day, if you're lucky enough to be able to eat three times per day. So it's on everybody's plate, if you like, to, to make a decision at the policy level. Companies need to get in the right direction. And of course, people from all walks of life, south, north, east and west, to very much make decisions that can help us get out of this situation where the planet can manage our food system and 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 let nature be and allow people to live well and 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 healthfully the last point that i want to make is that today in 2021 we have an incredible opportunity to take this debate away from disparate and varied discussions to one that builds on political will being created by the UN Food Systems Summit in, 20, in, in September in New York, where member states will be encouraged to come together and make commitments to promote a transformation to more sustainable food systems, but also to realize that part of this part of the summit is to create discussions and dialogue in every single member state of the UN at local level feeding up to national level and this will and I know that Tim is going to mention this and Jane mentioned this as well contribute to mainstreaming this idea of systems so when we're not just talking about the agriculture sector or food consumption or diet we're talking about food systems taking a systems uh, approach and that will hopefully create a mindset from citizens through to policymakers, through to business owners so i think i'll leave it at that i know that tim will um give us if you like the details of the report um but thank you very much honored to be here and i give the floor back to jeff thank you